Hello everyone welcome to code it today we are going to discuss about a string reversal program so the pro, uh, program is reverse a string without reversing digit and special characters for example if your input string is code at 2022 it okay so at 2022 it should be remaining the same position the other strings uh, other values should be get reversed so after the reversal that output will be tied at 2022 oc okay fine let's move into the java class and write some code for this i already created a java class which contains the main method so we need to firstly we need to define a variable that is i'll define it as a string original okay so i'll specify my string code at 2022 it the second thing is we need to define a character array to store these string values so i'll create one character array and name it as a string array and i'll convert the string into the uh, character array uh, so original dot to char array this will convert the string into the character array we are going to iterate through each element of this array to get the each uh, element whether it is a string or digit or an special character next i'll create one variable j to store the length of the array in our case length will be 10 char- uh, characters so i'll mention it as a length minus 1 because the array start from the index 0 next we will iterate through the string array so i'll specify int i equal to 0 and i should be less than the length of the array that is j okay fine so the first thing i'll uh, specify one if condition if character dot is alphabetic of string array dot a uh, string array of i that means the first character in the array is alphabetic or not if it is alphabetic then we need to reverse it otherwise we uh, we keep it in the exact location so what i'll no- say is i'll specify a, a not condition to this so if uh, uh, my first character is not alphabetic then i'll increment the i value so i plus plus i'll do here uh do not worry about it uh, when we will uh, debugging you will get to know the exact clarity of this uh the same condition will uh, write it for the uh, j also j value also else if uh, character dot is alphabetic of string array of j uh, that is last condition whether if it is an alphabet then we will reverse it uh otherwise we'll keep it in the exact location so i'll add not condition to it uh, this uh, uh, condition also okay. in this case if it is not an alphabet then we'll uh, minus the j value so in the else condition we'll write actual logic so the logic is simple we are uh, swapping the elements uh first thing i'll assign the ith value to a temporary variable i character to a temporary variable then i'll replace the i character with the j character and replace the j character with the temp value after that we need to increment the i value and decrement the j value this is because we need to move to the next position to find uh, whether the uh, it's a character or uh, digit or special character so after that i'll uh, print the array character array so we have completed our program let's run this and uh, let's check this okay so i have uh, run this program uh, as you see we got the output uh, what we are expecting okay so what we can do is we debug this program and uh, we'll check that okay so let me just start the debugger mm, it's starting okay yeah first uh, original uh, can see one second ah uh, yeah uh, original string you can see here 
then uh, argument uh, that is zero anyway uh, and original string that code at 2022 it and uh, uh, you can see the uh, string array after that uh, j the size of the array that is 10 then we are entering into the loop so first thing uh, i need to uh, string uh, array of i the first element that is in zeroth position that is c so we are checking whether it's a digit or a special character so character dot is alphabetic of c it will return to so what uh, is our condition if it's a uh, digit or uh, special characters then it should enter to the if block so it will return the false okay so next thing we are uh, uh, considering else if block so in the else if block we are considering a uh, string array of j the last uh, position that is uh, t so we are considering it as a uh, whether t is an alphabet yes it's returns true but our condition is not of alphabet so it will uh, return the false so it will enter into the else block here we are storing a first value to the temp variable then uh, replace the first value with the jth value that is a uh, c with the t okay and uh, the next thing is we want to replace the jth uh, value with the temp value that is t with the c as you can see t and c are interchanged okay and uh, once it is interchange then we need to increment the i and decrement the j uh, again it will loop over so now i value is 1 and the j value is uh, 9 okay so o is, is the string array of i then it's not an uh, digit or a special character then next thing string array of j that is uh, uh, i so this also not a char special character or uh, a digit it will come to the else block then it will uh, swap the characters uh, as you can see that i and o are interchanged uh, after that it will increment the i index and decrement the j index so the i value is uh, 2 and the j value is 8 so if you consider a uh, string array of i it will be d it's a character so the condition fails again it will come and check the j condition string array of j is 2 so it's a digit so it's not a character so it will enter to the else if block and it will decrement the j counter it will loop again so the i value will be 2 and the j value will be getting uh, decreased that is 7 so string array of i will be uh, d only so this condition will fail uh, again it will come to the else if block uh, string array of j uh, it will be 2 then uh, it will uh, it is a digit so it will decrement the j this process will uh, get continued till jth value be, uh, will be less than the ith value okay now you can see the screen the jth value came as 5 again it will iterate uh, now the jth value came as 4 the same scenario applies for the i also if it found a digit or a special character at the uh, ith location then it will increment the i so the i value become 2 and the j value become 3 so it will enter to the else block and swapping tape uh, takes place here temp will become d and jth value will be assigned to string array of i and uh, uh, at the jth position temp value will be get assigned uh, the value of uh, ith position and jth position will get interchanged after that we will increment the i and decrement the j so now the i value become 3 and the j value become 2 so our for loop fails here so next thing is we are going to print the values uh, just uh, that consider string array so all the uh, array elements are reversed except the special characters and the digits so thanks for watching if you have any doubt you can comment it down we will get back to you with the